crime is up during the pandemic across the nation and here in Northeast Ohio. Tonight begins our two part series, a tale of two cities to investigate why crime is growing in both Cleveland and Akron and what we can do to stop it. Three News investigator Rachel Polanski kicks off our series in Cleveland. In the game of chess, every move matters. All is fair in a game of chess. And while the weaker player merely reacts to a move, the stronger player looks for options and chooses from the best among them. So do you feel any pressure before you make a move? Yeah, there's a little bit of pressure. And in that way, Maisha Crow of the Cleveland Peacemakers Alliance says teaching kids chess encourages them to think deeply about the choices they make, both in the game and in their lives. Just like, yo, if you make this decision, that can result in your life ending. And if you make this choice, that can result in your family being put at risk. But if you make this move, you can, you can be the most safe. And her work is more urgent than ever, as Cleveland's homicide rates are at their highest in recent history, with police reporting 177 murders in 2020, up from 123 the year before. Many attribute the surge to the COVID-19 crisis that eliminated jobs, emptied schools, and crippled already short-staffed police departments. The alarming data also shows more young people losing their lives, as 10 children under the age of 18 were killed in Cleveland last year. I always wanted to be like my big brother. That includes this little boy's brother. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. 15-year-old hey, hey, Anthony hey, Hughes Jr., go, who go. loved playing football, was shot to death while walking home. Ironically, after he had just left a community meeting that was discussing violence in his neighborhood. And he went to that meeting, and my son never came home. According to reports, a shooter drove by an open fire, killing Anthony. And time does not soothe the mother's heart, as tearful memories flood Tina Collins' thoughts. My son always had a smile on his face. He always was happy. Anthony's case remains unsolved, as do dozens of others in the city of Cleveland. While homicide detectives solved 72 percent of murders in 2019, they only solved 49 percent of them in 2020. A CPD spokesperson tells 3 News Investigates that number will likely increase as detectives continue investigating 2020 cases into 2021. Still, the data doesn't sit well with grieving families. Cleveland, y'all supposed to be looking for my son murderer. And while families wait for justice, activists like Richard Starr at the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland work on practical solutions. So most kids who as early as 13, 15 year olds get into the streets and start choosing guns and committing these crimes, they are easily influenced by negativity. Or they may want to get into this part that I want to get some money. So he says we need to give teens alternatives to make money and get out of poverty. We push this notion and we push this motive of, of college to, to everyone. And I say particularly in the city, we definitely need our kids to be offered this trade opportunity. That's why he tells youngsters there is always a need for carpenters, plumbers, and electricians. You get into those construction, you can make a career forever. And still, that might not be the best option for you. Because just like in the game of chess, in order to reach true heights, you must make your own moves and follow your own path. Oh, yeah, it's checkmate. <laughs> and coming up tomorrow night on A Tale of Two Cities, we'll take you to Akron and show you the unusual way a reverend is trying to curb gun violence. I feel a lot safer, honestly. Part two of our series tomorrow at 11 on What's Next. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.